What is going on you guys? My name is Mike. This is Wall Street Traders where we break down hot trending stocks to put you at advantage on the market. Right, so next up on the recommended stocks that I break down for this morning is Shopify or ticker symbol SHOP. I have my lines and graphs already set for you guys. We're starting from a higher time frame so we can apply multiple time frame analysis to further predict our technical analysis and put us at an advantage over the market, you guys. So uh, like I said, I have my lines and graphs set. So let me go ahead and dive into that. Uh, currently, we're down almost 2% for the morning. The market's been open for about 25 minutes. Uh, our volume is above 70, 175,000. Like I said, you guys, any stock that is above 150,000 is key. Anything below that you want to stay far away from because it'll be such a slow moving stock. You'll be stuck in it all day or even days, that depending on the type of trader you are. So uh, the volume looks good as of right now. So <clears throat> let's go into where we're at. So this top line represents our major resistance lines. This is a uh, heavily tested area that's been where candlesticks have either been rejected or uh, reacted in. We can see that we came over here, got rejected, ultimately did that about three times, pulled back, pulled up, tried to create a breakout, was successful, came up, came back down. But what's used to work as resistance worked as a floor over here. We can see that we kind of bounced around over here. Uh, until we ultimately broke below that and then we started chopping around until we came back up into this heavily tested resistance area which knocked us back down into our lower minor support area which i will put a line here in a second i didn't do that just so i didn't confuse you guys uh, and then down here is our lowest level tested working as support you can see that we came up bounced over here bounced over here bounced twice over here until we ultimately came up to our resistance area so let me go ahead and place this minor resistance. So there are different levels of major, minor resistance and support areas, you guys. So keep that in mind. This line is going to represent a minor or major resistance area. I'm going to turn this yellow so you guys can see this better. So the ideal entry as of right now, even though on the R side it doesn't show that we're oversold or overextended, we're kind of right in the middle of this channel. So the ideal entry would be back down here on this minor support at the $1,000 area, $1,086 area if you want to be precise. But it would be back down at this level. Yes, we're above this trend line. However, we just got rejected by this resistance up here. So we are now starting this downtrend. We can't say that we are breaking this downtrend without further confirmation. And how do we get that further confirmation? Well, if we can bounce off this support level, have our entry on the opposite side. So if we do break below this level, that will be able to get tagged out if things do go sour. And like I said, this is back at the 1,086 area. So you maybe want to have your stop loss maybe at the 1,000 50 or 65 dollar area uh, you do want to give yourself some wiggle room just in case you have a candlestick wick that peekaboos below this level and then ultimately if it goes higher you won't immediately get tagged out <coughs> sorry excuse me i'm just still getting over sick uh, being sick so your first target uh if we do bounce off this level would be back up here at the previous highest point at the 1,165 area. So if we do uh, ultimately break this downtrend and we go higher, your second alternative entry would be above this major resistance line. So if we can break above the $1,200 mark, come up and come back down and retest it as a floor, like I was saying previously, that would make another ideal entry. You just have your stop loss below the $1,200 area. So if we do break below that floor uh, and we're gonna start that downtrend, we will be able to get tagged out and protect our assets so as of right now like i said since we're in the middle of this channel and we're bouncing in between this support and resistance lines the best entry would be back down here at the one eight one thousand dollar eighty six or the one thousand dollar area um, either way as long as you have your stop loss below this level then you'll be able to um you know protect your assets and if we do break if we do pull back down to this one thousand dollar level and break below that our next area of uh, the best entry after that would be back down here at the $870 level, which, you know, obviously you guys can see that clearly. This is an area that we tend to bounce or react from. So that'd be the next stop if we do break below this minor resistance area. Um, but like I said, right here would be the best entry. You can see back previously, this was working as a great resistance over here with all these tops that we had. And obviously on the opposite side, we can see that we bounce from this level a lot too. So like I said, two things could happen. We could continue this downtrend and come back down to this level, or we can break this downtrend and continue. It's, uh, 
or start an uptrend and break above this resistance for it to come back and come back down and retest it as a floor. And then that would be a good entry as well, like I said, in the $1,200 area. So as of right now, getting in would be pure FOMO, the fear of missing out will hurt your account you guys so we always look for the best entries here so if this video helped in any type of way please hit that like and subscribe button we are almost at 2,000 subscribers you guys we've came a long way um, i create this content every single morning for you guys if there's any stock that you want me to break down put it in the comment box below and i'll try my best to get to it uh, the following day also keep in mind you guys tomorrow shopify is having an earnings report um, that'll be on the 28th. So that is tomorrow. So during these days on earnings report, uh, that's all the only days that we really apply fundamentals and, uh, we be careful and we usually don't trade, um, on these days because they're so volatile and whippy. So, um, just keep that in mind, you guys. So other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading.